What's up YouTube? This is Pop Chick with the FYE haul. It's not really a haul. Uh, it's more or less items I grab because I have going to an event that's uh, coming up which is actually going to be after this video is posted. Um, I need to grab some things for that event and while I was there I grabbed some extra things as well. So um, let's go ahead and get into it. Um, I'll get into why I actually went to FYE first. I'll put this to the side so I won't be in the way. It was to find me a Michelangelo pop because I'm going to actually see um, Greg Cripps um, the voice of Michelangelo um, on the cartoons written as Turtles. So I'm trying to get him to sign this. And of course, the only one they really have is the 8 bit, which is not that bad though. It's just a Michelangelo period that I can get signed that he's a voice of. My uh, K, if you know, he um, has actually the one that's worth $34, $35. And he has it in the box, so I feel bad. Like when I bought it for him, I got it at Mars and Nobles. And that's why I didn't think about value of pops, but he has a pop that's worth thirty-four dollars in his collection, and I can't do nothing about it. And he th he throws the boxes; they both throw away boxes. But um, this is for him, to, uh, Greg, to sign for me. So whenever I do get this signed, it will be in my collection with uh, autographs. Also, I'm trying to work on getting an interview with Greg if possible, so that will also be a nice little um, thing to add to the channel as well. Now, also while I was there, um, I say I get, I grabbed this one here, which is um, Seymour Kilborn. This is from Little Shop of Hard. This is the first one I grabbed from the um, set they had. I actually want to get Audrey two, uh, the Chase version, the regular version, and also the Baby Audrey, which is the um, Target exclusive version. So, but this is a nice start to it here because this is um, I forgot. Rick Moranzis, Rick, Rick Moranzis, I know it's the same thing wrong, but um, this is a great character he played. This is actually, um, when I was younger, I guess when I was younger, I didn't really see horror movies as horror. I saw more as comedy, really. So this is actually kind of funny because he was feeding me see more and everything, but um, I grabbed it. It's the only one they really had in the store. And the box is not the best condition on here, but it is pretty cool. I mean, I don't know if I remember Audrey being a blue color. When he first started out as like a little baby version, but I could be wrong. Um, but as again, this is the only version, this is the only one he had in the store at the time. And his glasses had like a little smudge on it, so I'm probably gonna try to wipe that off. But this is this is a good pop overall. Though. I'm very happy to have this to start my collection off. This is just a personal collection here, a personal item that I do enjoy. Now, while I was there, speaking of cons, um, Fye had a recent con exclusive that was for the Fan Expo con and if you know what it is, say what it is, you don't? No? Okay. We're going to go ahead and look it up and it is Marty McFly with the guitar. Now this scene, um, I'm going to play right here right quick for y'all. In this scene, this is a great scene here. It's um, when he actually tries to help his parents fall back in love and it's a great, great scene. Um, very nice pop. Again, this is the only one they had really, so I don't know if the paint jobs are all about the same, but it's it's okay still the same. But this is my uh, Canadian convention exclusive. All the way down here in North Carolina from Canada. I didn't have to go all the way up to Canada. I didn't have to get somebody in Canada to get it for me. I got the exclusive right here. I don't know how popular it was, but I know this is popular to me. This is one of the ones that I wanted out of the many well the few that he had for the expo i wanted to get the um snowy bigfoot with ice cream and then the jeffrey is iron man but uh, jeffrey is iron man of course is an ad icon which i try to add more ad icons to my list if i can but snowy bigfoot because it has so many bigfoots out there that it would be nice to have one of my own to have but this is the other one that i wanted which is the marty mcfly now i am very happy to have this and i uh, this is my first but I don't know if it's, yeah, it might be first Can Canadian exclusive they actually had the Fan Expo. So this is added to my ex uh, con exclusive collection here. So again, I went to FYE, did a little haul. And let's see if I can get these up here for y'all. I got the Michelangelo so I can try to get signed. I got the um, Seymour for my personal collection because I love the, t the, the movie. And Back to the Future as the Canadian Expo Fan Con exclusive. 
Uh, also, th this was actually part of the buy two get one seventy five percent off. Plus, I have the FYE backstage membership, which took another ten percent off of everything. So, it made the price not too bad. The other thing that was this: this at all kinds of exclusives are fifteen dollars. That would kind of hit me hard there was to get the kind of exclusive there. The rest of the stuff was just pretty good price here. But thanks for watching. This is Pop Check. Like, subscribe, and comment. And thank you very much.